Is your community ready for electric vehicles? Hi, my name is Lynn Markham. I work for the Center for Land Use Education at UW-Stevens Point, which is part of Wisconsin Extension. The number of electric vehicles called EVs and EV charging stations are increasing rapidly. Shown on the left is the number of EV charging outlets in Midwest states. As you can see, it's increased greatly since 2011. We now have over 6,000 charging outlets. U.S. automakers pledge huge increases in EVs. In 2021, the Detroit Big Three announced a joint goal for EVs to achieve 40 to 50% of their sales in the U.S. by 2030. Shown on the right is a list of EVs available in the Midwest. As of October 2021, we had 40 models, different sizes and shapes. So why are people switching to EVs? Well, a main reason is to save on fuel and maintenance costs. Regular gasoline prices in November 2021 were a little over $3 a gallon. In comparison, electricity to drive a vehicle the same distance was $1.63. This is typical with electricity costing around half of what gasoline or diesel does. Consumer Reports did a study looking at the lifetime savings from EVs compared to the best selling gas and diesel vehicles. They found the lifetime savings for EVs ranged from $3,000 to $17,000. Another reason people are switching is to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. The city of Eau Claire estimated that a gasoline or diesel vehicle emitted on average 4.7 metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalents per year. In comparison, an electric vehicle emitted 1.3 tons, a reduction of 70%. Check with your electric utility to see how much greenhouse gas emissions are reduced by switching to EVs in your area. On the left here, you see a map of Wisconsin with our EV charging stations as of September 2021. You see more charging stations in the more populous parts of the state. Also note the high concentration of chargers in Door County, a popular tourist destination. While the number of EV charging stations has grown quickly in recent years, Wisconsin only has around 20% of the charging stations that were predicted to need by 2020. Federal and state funding may be available for installing EV charging stations. Where to locate EV charging stations? Many EV drivers use their vehicles mainly for commuting and errands and charge mainly at home or at work, which is very convenient because their vehicles already sit there for many hours at a time. In fact, EV drivers do over 80% of their charging at home. While a homeowner can add an EV charging outlet in their garage or near their parking spot, one third of households in Wisconsin, nearly 900,000 households, rent their home. Currently, many people who rent cannot charge at home or at work. Addressing the need for EV charging outlets at multi-unit dwellings is critical to increasing EV adoption. Potential solutions for those who rent are to install EV charging outlets on streetlight poles in areas near apartment complexes and to require wiring for EV chargers in new multi-unit dwellings through zoning. Tourism is a big business in Wisconsin with direct tourism spending of nearly $14 billion a year. EV drivers who drive long distances rely on DC fast charging outlets near their routes or level two charging outlets at their hotel or motel. Shown on the left is a map of electric vehicle charging stations put together by the Stevens Point Area Visitors Bureau that found 27 charging outlets in Portage County. For local governments in Wisconsin, incorporating EV charging standards in zoning ordinances is one of the easiest and most affordable strategies to become EV ready. 
Ordinance provisions include EV charging definitions, where charging stations are permitted uses, and where charging stations are required as part of new construction. The installation of EV charging infrastructure is four to six times less expensive when included during new construction versus a building retrofit. Once mandatory requirements are set in a local zoning ordinance, the charging infrastructure automatically spreads throughout the community as new buildings and parking areas are built, bringing down the cost of charging station installations and allowing public and private investments to stretch further. The Center for Land Use Education has developed two publications on this topic. Shown on the left is a two-page fact sheet for local officials, and the public, and shown on the right is a 20-page report for planners, zoning staff, and people who want to know more. This publication includes many examples of sample zoning ordinance language for EV charging. Thank you for joining me today. Please contact me at my email or phone number shown below, and I hope you enjoy learning about electric vehicle charging stations.